at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. This is Satisfactory Plus. And things are gonna get crazy. Let's look for some Steritite. I had a nice comment on two of my videos suggesting that I check out the Satisfactory Plus mod because it is sort of like a hard mode in, uh, in, in, of, in and of itself. And so I thought, oh uh, yeah, why not check it out? Things are going pretty well in the ultra hard mode play and I thought I'd see what this has to offer. We've started fresh here out in the dune desert and we're gonna explore this mod together. appears to be a rework from the top down or the bottom up. Whichever makes more sense. Or whichever's funnier. Anyway, instead of iron we have steritite. And I'm guessing that we don't have copper either. Uh, but anyway, I don't really know. We're gonna take this a little bit slower than on season two ultra hard mode because I don't know what to expect. Uh, apparently, seriously, the game is completely reworked. So I'm gonna show more things than I would normally do, more things I would cut out normally. I'm going to show in this just because we're going to have to learn together. Uh, that's probably enough of that. Let's throw it on the hub. I did have to start at the intro right here because it said if you didn't, actually it was disabled, but it said if you didn't start right here, you can have issues and will crash. All right, we can make crushed steertite which turns into sloppy iron ingots, and I'm guessing these sloppies become plates and rods. All right, let's finish this first upgrade. Just like that. Upgrade two, we're gonna get a smelter, sapphirite. I'm gonna probably butcher these names. Sapphirite, probably like sapphire, eh? Copper. Okay. Uh, I don't think I selected it. Iron wire, what is this? So I should turn iron rods into iron wire. It's kind of cool. Now I need 20 of these themselves. Boy, I tell you, I am already sick of handcrafting, but look how fast this goes. It's kind of nice. Hopefully that doesn't mean I have to do a ton of handcrafting. <laughs> look at that, we're flying. New buildings, new parts, new scannable resources. Smelter, workbench, oh, I like that. Let's get some uh, portable miners. Portable miners are two plates to four rods, is that right? So that should be enough for three. Oh, except I have to build the workshop itself, okay. It's enough for one. Yeah, two and four though. I had the numbers right at least. All right, let's find some of the sapphire. All right, I'm gonna whip up some more portable miners so I don't have to do it by hand. Hey, look, the portable miners stack. That's cool. What? Yes. Rise, my little mechanical army. <laughs> need him though. Let's go find Sephirite. Hmm, Dooney. Is this it? Okay, this is it. Sephirite. Pure. Oh, that's the rock on top. This is just a normal node. It's disappointing. It's probably enough to start. 
Wait, what is this? Is this imp here though? I was gonna say I could move the hub right here. Since we have two. Uh, excuse me, I have both ores right here, but I don't want to deal with an impure node. You beautiful, beautiful little machines. Look at that. Absolute legends. Alright, so I think I'll just go one by one and fill the hub transporter just so I don't keep having to do math. So here we go, this will fulfill our 20 plates. All right, now we need wire. Now I'm guessing sapphire makes copper, yep. Okay, all right, I can understand how games work. Okay, 20 of these. Okay, and those get turned into wire too, just like the iron wire. That's easy. And I'm guessing this wire gets turned into cable. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Hub upgrade four already. Oh, here we go. Concrete. It looks like bags of red concrete get turned into regular concrete. And reinforced iron plate. It's just iron. Well, it's always just iron, but it's this iron. Oh, okay. So stearlite also gets turned into those red bags of concrete. Now, that makes me curious as to what I'm gonna have to use to put down a foundation. Is it just gonna be concrete or concrete and plates like it is in vanilla now? And I wonder if the Blueprint works in this mod, and I wonder if the materials work in this mod. We'll figure it out. We're going to probably pave over the whole desert because that seems like what you do. All right, cable is made out of regular wire. Let me go get more of that sphere light. Sapphire light. Hey, I got a slug. No, I got slug DNA. Ew, what did I do to get that? We're all just friends here. All right, so we take the sapphire and we crush it. And then we take the crushed sapphire and we make slopper, sloppy copper ingots. And then we take the sloppy copper ingots and we make copper rods. And then we take the copper rods and we make wire. And then we take the wire and we make cable. And now that's just cable and it is incredibly more difficult and complicated. <laughs> I think we're onto something here. Thank you very much for the suggestion. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. Cable's done, all right. This is... So this uses, again, iron wire and the plates. So let's just get a lot of sloppy. So what do you think? Satisfactory Plus. Does this look interesting to you? Do you wanna join me on this journey? Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button and join me as we play through this pretty cool mod. Okay, reinforced iron plates need, let's see, we need 10 of these. So that's 40 plates. It's not so bad. I took this opportunity to just crush all that stereotype I had and turn it all into sloppy ingots by going to use the restroom and grabbing a bottle of water and calling my mother and telling her that I love her. Oh, and I was staring off into space and crashed. <laughs> okay, so I was being dumb. I was trying to make a joke and then I was staring off into space and I crafted way too many plates. It's going to be that kind of series. I can feel it. I can feel it. I didn't see how many of this I needed. We need 10 of those again, so we need 60 iron wire. We've got plenty. Plenty of iron rods already. The person that suggested this mod to me said that there's something, some sort of automated biomass. I'm pretty excited to see what that is after 
After all, I am a bit of an expert on biomass and uh, hand feeding things. But if I don't have to hand feed things, can you imagine how great I'll be at it? Or will I be lost and useless? Hub upgrade five. What is that? I just saw something, something new. Tin, tin plates, okay. All right, we've got a new material to go after and it is rubite. What is steratite? I don't really know. This I, under I could understand the root word of sapphire and ruby, but it's a stira. I'm not smart, but I am close to rubite. So that has to count for something. Boom. This is my favorite part. <clears throat> my, this is my favorite part of the whole. This is my favorite part of the whole thing. Come on, let me put the other one down. Where's the third one? Boom. 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 What even is life? I was trying to make a funny joke. Uh, I was trying to make a joke. Seriously, where is the third miner? Didn't I make three? I swear I made three. Hmm. Maybe I only made two. Boom. So in similar fashion, looks like we're taking crushed rubite to make a sloppy tin to probably make tin plates. But I did notice something a moment ago, which was, what, crushed rubite comes, look at this, it comes with an alternate recipe already. Well, no, this is the normal recipe. This is at the craft bench. The standard recipe is actually in a crusher, which must be one of the machines. And I'm gonna actually get crushed rubite and the crushed stone, which mean, yeah, okay. So look at, it looks like the crusher, the byproduct of the crusher is going to be the stuff that turns into concrete forever. So I hope I'm swimming in it, swimming in concrete. I love it. I think my inventory is larger. Don't you think? I don't, I don't. I mean, I haven't unlocked any extra inventory slots yet, but I feel like this is more than you usually start with. That was a lot of handcrafting, but here we are, and I made a little bit extra. So, oh, one more. Is that the last one? I think that's the last one. That is the last one. Oh, I love it so much. I gotta be honest. I'm a little. Scared, but really intrigued at what I'm gonna find inside the hub. It's all different. <laughs> what, oh, there's blueprints. So that answers that question. Simple logistics. Which is a simple conveyor belt. Usually we have conveyor belts by this time, don't we? Modular miner. Attaches to the module miner. Wait, what is this? Increases the power required. What is it though? Oh, quantity per run. Constructor, crusher. Okay. Automated biomass. Oh, I love this. Yeah, see, we have conveyor belts. Missing screws. What? And container. Missing screws. Oh my gosh. Uh, if they just added screws to everything, <laughs> that's gonna be really annoying. And pretty hilarious. So, what do I do? Do I start at the beginning? Simple logistics. I don't even know what these sheets are. Iron sheets, okay, that's not so bad. What about base building? Let's do base building so I can get some foundations on and then we can start paving the desert. Wait a minute, maybe I'm supposed to be using automation already. Let's figure this out. Okay, yeah, maybe I'm supposed to be using a constructor. Let's check on it. Copper bus bar, what on earth? Okay, don't, no, nope. really into this. Can I simply attach it to there? Well, I need fuel. Oh yeah, there's not a lot of biomass around here, is there? Hmm, maybe over here is the closest. Let's check and see. I'm working on my night cheese. 
Oh man, I wonder if there are alternate recipes to these alternative recipes. I really, 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 really don't want to go out and find any more hard drives ever again, never. At least not right now. Where was that rubite? I might as well get it while I'm here. Okay. Alright, I like it. Let's do more. Let's do a miner. What do we need? We don't even need a miner. Do I put the miner on? Okay, I do put the miner on here. What? It has a liquid. It has a liquid port. power missing module could that be as simple as missing power I wouldn't think so it's missing a module okay that's probably that other thingy right Like, uh, this thing in here is probably the module, right? I'd have to imagine. Increases the power required by the module. Yeah, so this sounds like a power module. What do I need? Screws. So here's where you need the portable miners. <laughs> Clever. Okay. So I'm guessing I just... Aha. Uh -huh. I give it a module like that. No power, but it's not missing the module. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Wire screws, copper rods. Wire. What kind of wire was that? I assume it was regular wire. Screws. What did I say? Copper rod? Iron rods? Copper rods? I think I said copper rods. But I also don't listen to half what I'm saying. Is this producing two stacks at once? It is. It is. This is. Very interesting. Yep, gonna need the crusher, I'm fairly certain. Okay. One crush. Oh, I love how they all have two ports. Is that just an efficiency thing? or? Because I'm a big fan. If it's that way, just because it is. Okay, so now we'll take a constructor and put it right there. And so now, okay, I can't afford that. Boy, this is gonna be a lot of getting used to. Uh, some big changes. I am intrigued by this already though. This is a, a kind of a more fun hard mode than the one I was doing in the season two. How do you know which comes out which well already I had that wrong so it looks like the top one comes out the left when you're looking at it wait a minute <laughs> I have to smelt it how do you smelt it the cable it's like I've never played satisfactory before <laughs> All right, this is going to be fine. I need to start utilizing my uh, to-do list even more than I am, just to remember all the ingredients. Okay. All right, first power cut, not a big deal. Pretty much an expert at power cuts, since I deal with them 
every 30 seconds in ultra hard mode. If you're interested in watching a different ultra hard mode, check out the series two or season two update seven playlist. I love that it's a byproduct. I love that concrete bags are gonna be a byproduct of crushing. Okay, now that we have iron plates being constructed and a byproduct of concrete, I feel like we're well on our way to making some decent progress. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start handcrafting the rest of these base building milestone requirements so we can redo everything we just did, but on a happy little platform. Okay, we're nearly there. I am excited to build a factory that can touch a different factory. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, we're done. Look at that. Let's send the stuff off. And now, what did we get? Player upgraded. Did I get more inventory? I did. I got a good bit more inventory slot. That is nice. And foundations. What do they require? They require all kinds of stuff that I did not see coming. All right, this is exciting. I'm gonna do it. Let's build everything connected to everything else. And let's put them all on a global grid. We're crazy. We're crazy. Hello, beautiful. Let's pick a new fun milestone. Wait, what's sand? Ah, I'm in the desert. There's plenty of it. And blueprints. Okay. Let's just start at the beginning. Alright, so I wonder if I can build these on foundations like you can in the regular vanilla game. You can, that is handy. Look at these models. This is fantastic. I just, the quality on this mod is mind blowing. All right, while that constructor is busy chugging away making our iron plates, I'm just gonna whip up some sloppy tin here uh, by hand because this milestone's going to get us splitters and mergers, which I think will be very useful for setting up our future construction line. Oh, that was actually incredibly easy to handcraft. That's a refreshing surprise that these sheets were very easy to make. All right. There, conveyors and mergers. They need screws and, oh, that conveyor part was, it's a part. What? Oh my gosh, this mod is bonkers. All right, so let's look at this. This is called an automated biomass generator. So it burns biomass and has an automated input for a higher building cost. Let's, uh, let's build one of those and try it out because I think it sounds awesome. And then I really, let's start automating everything. It's kind of the whole point of this. Let's check out this biomass burner. My gosh, look at this. Whoever these mods are that made these textures and these buildings and stuff, it's just, <laughs> I'm just blown away. Again, I haven't really played with any mods. I'm not really into that. I like to play the game vanilla and take it for what it has to offer, but this is definitely making me reconsider. When do I get biofuel? All right, let's get the chainsaw and see what kind of damage we can do with that. All right, and a couple of hand crafting moments later, we've got ourselves a chainsaw. 
I presume it still runs on the same type of biofuel. It appears to. What's a supply box? Whoa. I just found some parts just on the ground. That was unexpected and kind of cool. Oh, it's good to know that uh, things like that exist. Now when I run over to get biomass, I can start looking for things like that. Let's... No, wait. I need solid biofuel first. All right, let's choose our next milestone. All right, conveyor belt parts it is. Oh, this still takes forever to handcraft. That's, I'm not gonna wanna do that. So let's not, let's get a machine to do our bidding. Let's get this running again though. We'll make some screws and we'll start making some more platforms. All right, I just moved that over so this input would line up with that output. Let's do another one. Missing iron wire, that's okay. Okay, now we've got double the crushed stearite. Stearite, stearite, stearite. We're gonna need four smelters now. Okay, and you know what? We're gonna need splitters and mergers, and they both require conveyor belt parts. So let's see what those require. Tin sheets and the reinforced iron plates. Okay. That's horrible. I love it. Oh, oh, it has two outputs because there's two. Hmm, hmm. I'm gonna need to deal with this crushed stone byproduct as well. this can fit right here. Awesome. All right, there doesn't appear to be any rhyme or reason. I swear on the last time I did this that this product got output to that side instead. So we're gonna have to delete all of this and try again. I wonder if this matters. Maybe the uh, input you put it in matters too? Let's check. Hmm, I don't know. I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point, but it doesn't seem to actually be consistent. Look at that, that's so fantastic. I think what I need to do is immediately start mass producing just these four parts because not being able to build foundations is frustrating. All right, I've got enough for four constructors now. Let's see what we can make. Uh, we're gonna want one doing plates, I assume. Okay, one for plates. Missing wire, this is the story. Missing little pieces all the time. All right, actually I wanna turn this one into iron plates as well, and then build another one out here. Four sheets. Iron sheets, very good. No cables. Oh, this is <laughs> this is a recurring pattern. Uh, I'm not complaining though. This is actually really fun. I just uh, I'm having a hard time getting the bare minimum stuff, so I could just spread out a little bit, and then uh, you know we're gonna pave the desert and build a giant city or something. I don't know. Something will be fun. All right, we've got iron plates. We've got iron sheets. Now we need screws. So 
So that's going to be iron rods. And then we're going to need another constructor. We're going to have to go handcraft the parts for it. No, which I'm already ready to do. All right, we're starting to get headway here. We're starting to pull ahead a little bit. Start having some stockpiling of some very needed resources, which is excellent. Totally missed. Alright, so that's making iron rods, and this is going to make screws. Oh yeah. I love the smell of automation in the morning. Definitely going to want to get iron wire being produced so I can automate reinforced iron plates as soon as I unlock the assemblers. Because I seem to need quite a few of them. Let's go get more fuel. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I wonder what kind of stuff I'm going to have to research in the MAM. Because this seems all different. Windows were even just one of the regular milestones. And I wonder if the awesome shop works with this. Did I say that already? If I did, it was because I was filming yesterday. And now again today. It's a jar of dirt. This is exciting. I've never been so excited to have a jar of dirt in my life. Okay, but since I don't know what it does and nothing popped up, I'm just going to ignore it for right now because i got more important things to do, like, well, constructing constructors for one, running belts, paving the desert. All right, one more Band-Aid. I feel like maybe I should just name this series One More Band-Aid because it seems like playing these challenges, these hard modes, this mod, it's just, you're just running from one injury, one breakdown, one power cut to the next. Put a little band-aid on it. Give a kiss, pop a kiss. Love you. Band-aid. What was I even doing? Oh yes, making more simple conveyor belts. And there, we've got our conveyor belts. Let's unlock better conveyors. Excited to see what these require. Interesting, okay. So it looks like the reinforced iron plates go into making those belt items, and then those belt items are what we're gonna mainly use. At least for Mark II. Okay, what's next? We're flying. Research. Oh, I really need to get a constructor to make concrete. In fact, let's do that now because this is going to stop production of the iron components when this backs up, which it has. So let's do another constructor, which only needs a little bit of iron wire. That's not so bad at all. In one day soon, we'll have iron wire at the ready. And let's check the power. And we've got power capacity. This, things are going well. Oh, I really don't like this. Look at this, look at this disgusting. <laughs> I don't even care, at least not right now. This is just, I have to spread out anyway. This is just jammed in there. I just need this to run for a second. And uh, I'm not gonna worry about it. How are our materials? Okay, in fact, Look at this, we can start spreading now like the virus we are. Oh, I think we had had enough before I went a little crazy with those foundations. Yeah, we are so close already to research. There we go. 
Simple as that. All right, what's next? Or sorting. What was it? Concrete. So all we need is concrete and we'll have that. That's cool. Man alive. This game is spectacularly gorgeous. I just love it. Except that fool right there is ruining my ambiance. That should be enough. It is. Or sorting. What's next? Ah, the assembler. This is part of what I was after. Also, I have no idea what lead is, so I'm gonna slow down. Okay, I think that's a good spot to stop with the milestone researches because I don't even know what lead is yet. So I need to figure that out. I'm guessing it's ore sorting, but we've got more basic infrastructure we need to set up before we should rush ahead. So let's do that because I'm not really in a rush here. All right, let's take a glance at lead. So yes, the sorter. We just need to take crushed rubite. And then we can turn it into lead. Can't wait to see what's gonna happen when, they, when we start introducing liquids to the equation. I just need more concrete production. It's cool that it's a byproduct and everything, but I don't have the infrastructure set up right now to produce it any quicker. So let's change that, I guess. I feel like the sun hasn't been up in forever. It's just so dark. And I have so many sheets. This is great. All right, let's see where that sapphire was again. From here. Let's build that way. I think I'm gonna have everything connected this playthrough. Like a giant city. contour to the desert before this is gonna be interesting and by interesting I mean probably pretty annoying but it should be fun it's gonna add a lot of depth and visual interest in our little city here I like that all right let's check out this new sorter Okay, so I did get the items to make the sorter, and I looked at it, but the only thing I can sort right now is rubyite, or rubite, uh, which is way over there. So I want to put the sorter and stuff over there. So we'll actually explore that here in a little while. I think what I want to do now is reorganize this better. I have all the outputs of these two crushers going this way, right into the machines, so there's nowhere to grow. What I should have done is put the machines going this way, from here over, and then I can utilize all of this material. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Just went and got some biomass and saw that this was almost empty. Ooh, I definitely am keen to hook up automated biomass. We'll do that real soon too, we can do it that way. All right, we can split one of the 30 lines in half for uh, rods, because it only needs 15. And then I'll make this one rods as well. And then this will be iron wire. All right, just a trick that will do us. Yeah, all right. How many does this need? 15, Boy, I like how this is, this is set up to be very conveniently like the inputs and outputs are balanced to be even. Okay, and with that set up, we have this extra 30 line right here not being used yet. 
I glanced at the parts list, and I think the only thing that's iron-based, really, that we're not making at the moment is reinforced iron plates. However, this requires an assembler, uh, which we don't have access to yet. All right, let's check our power consumption up. I can do it back here. And try to get some automated biomass. That's super exciting. So we've got one biomass burner there. Let's do two more. And I don't think I want to use these since they're not automatically uh, fed. So we're going to need a couple constructors. Three, right? We'll do wood, leaves, and then how many... How many of solid biofuel does this take? Four per minute. So we need 12 per minute of that. So let's grab some storage containers. We'll have one there, one there. One will be for sticks, one will be for wood. I'm not gonna have enough components to make all of these. Nope, I can only make one of these right now. This will be actually. Let's do let's do three more because I'll have um, one of these for wood, one of them for leaves, and then I'll have one f for solid f biofuel for each of them. I think that'll work out pretty well. Do this one here. So that was uh, wood. This one will be leaves, and then this one will be. Solid biofuel for each of them. We'll use these three. Oh, these are big, bigger. All right, I could just keep running out of cable. But we're getting there. We're making great progress. That one's grass. And this one is wood. And this is working well, except I don't have any more wood. I need more wood. Let me make a couple more of these conveyor parts if I can. Because I need to upgrade some of those. Belts need to be marked too. I like the way they do this. This part that seems that I'm guessing is going to be common to all the higher level belts. It's a pretty, pretty cool idea. All right, so that needs to be marked too. That needs to be marked too. Because these need 120 per minute. Perfect. All right, now we can hook up the rest of the factory. That's going to do it for the episode. What a great first episode of Season 2.5, the Ultra Ultra Hard Mode, Satisfactory Plus Mod. I think it was good. We made a lot of progress. We built and rebuilt this infrastructure here, so we have all of our basic iron being put in containers right there. Uh, we've built out over to some of the other nodes that we're going to build on. This is the start of our brand new Paving the Dune Desert city. And we have automated biomass. Automated biomass generators how cool is that but thanks for tuning in please hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below what you think about this mod and if you're excited for the rest of this season uh, i look forward to hearing from you anyway we'll see you real soon take care bye now Actually, let's do that right here for the screenshot. Boom.